On this problem, there are 21 people in an application pool that are equally qualified for a job. The pool consists of seven people from California, six from Nevada, and eight from Arizona. And if you add these up, there's your 21 total. Okay, there are three job openings for three different people. And uh, on problem one, it says, what is the probability that all three people are from California? So I could write it this way, probably of California, California, California. On a previous video, I showed how to do this with fractions, but you can also do this on the binomial sheet and it's in this hypergeometric section of it, and actually this way is actually easier. So I'll show you the sheet, and then we'll go ahead and start typing the uh, stuff in. So the Excel sheet, you're allowed to use this on tests, and uh, this is the binomial sheet. So when you open it up, you go to this sheet right here. You can see where the mouse is. You click on this sheet. Like when you first open it, you see this. Just click on this, and that's the binomial sheet. I got it really zoomed up here so we can record it, but you'll see this at the top, and you just scroll down, and we're in this area right here. This has hypergeometric combinations and permutations. Combinations is when order doesn't matter. Permutations is when order does matter. On this one, we don't care the order of the three California people. So this is the area that we'll be using for the first problem, all three from California. This is my population size, and we have 21 people total. The next bit is how many people are we sampling out? Well, we're sampling out three people. So your little n is three. The next bit is how many successes are in the population of the group we're looking for? Well, I'm looking for people from California. How many people in my population of 21 people are from California? Seven. So the next thing is a seven right here. And then the little x is how many people are from California in my sample that I'm sampling out? Well, I'm looking for three people to be from California. So this is a three. And that's all we need for this part A. It can handle more things in it, but that's all we need. And if you look at the answer right here, that's 0 0.263, I'm going to copy it right here. So just right mouse click and copy. Go back to the sheet, and you look. The answer I already have in there is exactly the answer we have on the Excel sheet, 0 0.0263. And here it is again on the Excel sheet. 0.0263, I'll make this a little bit bigger so everybody can see it. 0.0263 is exactly the same. When you copy something here, then you can just go to the Excel, go to the cell that you want to put your answer in, and just paste it in. Boom, you don't have to worry, like if it says four decimal places, as long as you have at least four is all you need. You can have more than that. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. This one is, was it probably that not all three are from California, so you have to take one minus the previous answer to get that. Let's go to three. On three it says, what is the probability that none of the people are from California? So on that, I have it set up here. So none of the people are from California. These are going to remain the same. Here's my population size, 21. Here's how many people I'm sampling out, three. This X right here is the number of people in the population that, I'm, that I have to choose from. 14 total, because seven are from California, there's 14 that are not from California, and I need three of them to be uh, not from California. See, right here, what I'm looking for is the probability of not California, not California, not California. That's three from the not California. So I'll type those in, and you'll see that you get the same answer here. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, this say, stays the way it is. This right here will be 14 and three. And there's your point. Uh, 2736. Let me copy that a second. And if we check it, right here is where that goes. So I'll go ahead and paste that in. Okay, this one, what is the probability one is from California and two are from Nevada? This is problem four. Here it is with fractions. A lot of people forget this times three. With the uh, Excel sheet, it would be 21 people. We're selecting now three. Let's go with California to begin with. How many people in the population are from California? Seven. How many do I need from California? This is the little x here. How many do I need from California? Just one. And then let's go to Nevada. It wouldn't matter the order. If I wanted to say Nevada first, that's fine. So I'll say Y is the number of people from Nevada. How many people are from Nevada in my population? Six. And how many do I need in my sample? Two. So you just put this into uh, same section of the Excel sheet, right here, 21, 3, 7, 1, and 6, 2, and there's that probability. Copy it, paste it in, 
It saves you from doing all those fractions that we had before. And I wanted to point out this one right here. On five, it says, was it probably that the first one is from California, the next two are from Nevada? That's the same exact numbers, but on this one, a specific order was given. When a specific order is given, such as problem five, then you have to do that in the hypergeometric permutation area. So I'll just take these same values right here, copy them, and put them right here, and paste them in. I'll do a paste one, two, three, but there is the answer to that problem. So I'll take that and copy it, and paste it in. And then for the last problem, it says, was it probably that each is from a different state? So for problem six here, we have um, 21 people total. We're going to select three people out. Let's start with California. There's seven from California, and I need one. There's uh, six from Nevada, and I need one. And there's eight from Arizona, and I need one. And so that would be the way to do that problem. Again, the order doesn't matter, so that's going to be combinations. So from the seven, I need one. From the six, I need one. And from the eight, I need one. And there's that probability. Let's get that. And we'll paste it in right here. And we'll submit it. And we'd have it right whether we did it with fractions or whether we did it with the, um, the hypergeometric section of the binomial sheet. We would get it right. And so there's your two options for doing this problem. That'd be great.